Y'all, first stop. Got it. <laughs> first, first stop, y'all. We are going to this little brunch spot, which is in the Mexican neighborhood. So this should be some good eating. Hey, yes, Cafe Diola. Hey, yes, Cafe Diola. That's where we going, y'all. So let's get up in here and eat, cause we hungry. But we kind of want like a mimosa or something too, not just food. Oh wait, y'all, I think it's that way. <laughs> y'all, we don't know where we going, we just walking. Okay, I see y'all in there, bye. Okay, y'all, this restaurant that we just came to, it is an hour and 15 minute wait so we gonna just walk to Walgreens and <laughs> the liquor store I don't even know if the liquor store open this early y'all but we gonna go ahead and just walk over here just to kill some time while we wait for um seating so <sighs> I'm gonna have to get some chips or something because y'all I'm dog hungry I'm dog hungry so we'll talk we'll talk later Okay, y'all, it has been one extremely long travel day. Um, we are at the B&B, &B, Airbnb, but it has not been cleaned yet, so we are just kinda in limbo. Um, I think at this point, we just so tired. I left Dallas at uh, 6.15. Uh, they left Chicago at, I think, probably like five something, so we are all extremely tired. But nonetheless, we have had a great time um, so far. So hopefully the place will be clean here pretty soon so that we can at least get into the house, get relaxed, all that kind of stuff. The restaurant that I showed y'all earlier this morning was absolutely amazing. So I'm really, really glad we decided to go there. Um, y'all peep the, peep the view these palm trees so far and I'm pretty sure these are not even you know the prettier views that we're gonna get um, but we are staying in the Hollywood area so I think Hollywood Boulevard and some other good locations are like literally right a couple blocks over so I'm pretty sure today we might actually explore after we get a chance to go in and relax and all that good stuff but just wanted to show y'all the little area that we are staying in for the next few days y'all now the one thing about california 
I would probably say that I would love the absolute most would definitely be these trees, okay? These palm trees are everything. Just so pretty. So, me and Sharice, we already know we gonna be out in the middle of this street, honey, taking pictures. Matter of fact, y'all gonna see a picture with this full background, okay? She legit thinks she getting down and she's serious too, y'all. Okay, so y'all, yesterday, your girl just was not, I ain't gonna say, I don't know what happened yesterday, but I just could not finish the vlogging and stuff yesterday. So, we are preparing to go to Joe's, is it, where y'all, where we going, Joe's? Is that what it Boiling is? Crab. Boiling crab. crab. I'm thinking, I like, I like I'm at home. But we're going to Boiling Crab and then we're going to do some walking around and whatnot. So I will make sure to bring y'all along as we are eating today and actually throughout the rest of the day because your girl was slipping yesterday. So such a gorgeous day. It's extremely hot. Uh, what y'all think about my frames? They like a vibe, right? seriously a vibe so uh yeah y'all say hey to the vlog y'all hey vlog hey vlog <laughs> 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 So y'all, we are waiting on food at this point. I think we are so hungry because we haven't really eaten anything until, well actually since like way earlier today. So we had just a little bit of what, what you know, mess around the house. So I'm gonna ask the girls what they think about our trip so far. <laughs> Which was bomb. We're what? Well, bomb, bomb. The house is nice that we're staying in. We've been having some good conversation. And I'm just Thank you. Looking forward to so 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 sunny cow. Hey, I think this 
should be like, we should do legit, like regular. Y'all, she took it to a closet right there. She took it to a closet. Y'all, I think we should do stuff like this. Like, y'all said y'all gonna come to Dallas, maybe what? Later today? Yeah. I think that would be A pound, me and Sheena both got a pound of mussels. Y'all, they gonna be straight bomb. The fries look like they cook to perfection. So food is kind of making its way. Yes! Oh, y'all don't really in Chicago. Not this good. I feel like it's pretty good in Dallas, though. I feel those are, the, those are the good in the south. Yeah. Yeah. There's a difference. They in the go. Y'all, we are having such a good time. You know what? We actually, tonight, when we get back home. Look at that. That's flavor. <laughs> when we get home later, like around the time that we start relaxing and whatnot, we need to pick up on some of the good conversation we've been having. Maybe so. Because, honey, we can have a good time. But we can also talk about some real life issues and stuff. So, as black women start businesses, the black community. That was yesterday, right? That was yesterday. That was yesterday. Yeah. Sexual abuse in the black community. That was today. That was today. <laughs> so we gonna we gonna um, probably do a conversation piece when we get back to the to the house later. But um, until then, we're all gonna dig in just a little bit. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> this is so good. Hey, look at the camera. What you say? Mm -hmm. That's home. her. That's her. <laughs> I've been a Lauryn Hill fan since Sister Act 2, right? And then, you know, back in the day, we had, uh, what was it called? VH1 Soul or no, no. No, that was VH1 Soul. I remember that. It was a lot about five, six. VH1 Soul, yeah. Yeah. And so when I saw Ooh La La La, I was like, that's her. And I've been a fan ever since. And let me tell you, true story. Somebody wrote on my <laughs> she done turned her wait y'all she turned her whole body around okay, so this gonna, this gonna be good, gonna be good. <laughs> two days ago y'all can go check my facebook my buddy had put, put on there i love you sis and you know when black folks tell you they love you one if they stick so i say well what's going on i love you too you good and she say i was listening to lauren hill and thought mm -hmm. about you yeah. So everybody knows that I'm Lauren Hill's biggest fan. So if you watching Lauren, I don't care if you show up four hours late and you sing them songs at a different tempo, nobody can't keep up. Well, it ain't gonna matter if you show up four hours late. Right. You ain't gonna be there. You already. And, right. I saw somebody wrote a meme and it said, you going to the Lauren Hill concert? And she was on the meme and it said, no, nah, are you? Ah! She just, she's so amazing. She is. Yeah. She is so amazing. She is so amazing. And so that's why I don't understand why y'all let Cardi B and, and and all, like, this is the female representation that we have representing black Hold women Hold on, turn right the music now. down. Turn the music down so we can talk. 
this whole finna be lost. I'm watching the G. And so it's like, y'all be jumping up there. First of all, Cardi B is not a representation of people like us. And oh, hold on, hold on. And y'all look at that traffic. Now, that traffic down there look like it got a lot going on. But it you don't, it flows. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, E, sorry. Yeah, I mean, so when you look back at the time, Lauren Hill is in the class of her. Nobody has even come close, in my opinion, to being intelligent, um, well versed on a lot of different subject matters, and you hear it in the music, Afrocentric and empowering. Mm -hmm. Okay, what thoughts on her? Because to me, I feel like with some more development, her could be along the same lines of a Lauren. Not saying she will be Lauren, she but she feet. does. But she they does. Said Tink was the next Lauren Hill. Tink, was Tink had. Hill. She had one song, and that was it. Tink song. And I liked it. I liked it for, for what it was for her being a young, you know, a, a young um, artist. But I think Rhapsody is the closest thing we got to Lauren Hill. But Rhapsody is not going to get the time or the play for what she needs to be in the, the local industry. Like the, you know, the radio. From the entry play. She needs to become noticed. But because she's underground. But the minute you become mainstream, you have to get naked. You have to you have to talk about shit you that do. destroys the community. You, do. you have to perform. You have to talk about cut the coke, fuck niggas, bitches ain't shit, excuse me, I know this for your vlog. No, that's not, yeah. yeah. Cut the coke, fuck bitches, add threes of niggas ain't shit, bitches ain't yeah, shit. Yeah, it's a bad message. It's a bad it's message. It's not anything that our youth, so if we, so everybody wanna blame the youth for what's going on. When yeah. actuality, we fail them. Mm -hmm. If everybody around them is failing them, right. they will say, kids don't care you right but they just don't know the good music they don't know and i feel like y'all we have such old souls because we've been listening to this good music for how long now since way back in college erica we're gonna have to do a little story time about the uh um, the home teacher class start a revolution free the mind heal the body talking evolution do you hear that in cardi b are you here no you her? don't a good little tongue roll. Oh, listen, I want you to say, oh, 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 oh. okay, you almost had that one. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to let y'all know that. But yeah, this is, um, I feel like the music these days, I can't even listen to the radio. You know what I call the music? What? Suicidal and suicidal. It is. It is. It makes it you want to kill somebody or yourself. yourself. Yeah, like you know what? I'm going through this. I ain't got time to deal with it. It's a bridge right up the street. Let me go to it. <laughs> that's what you were doing. <laughs> right. I mean, no, seriously, y'all. Yeah. That's what this music is, and it's so crazy because I, when I'm listening to uh, music, it's from my from my phone. I don't ride and listen to the radio so what genres are you currently in your tape deck oh my well everything oh i mean of course i have newer things you know that i might listen to like hip things things that are in the moment but i go back to on the plane ride y'all I, I promise you i think i listen to randy crawford Greatest hits, the you know, Ooh, half the, is Randy Crawford. Oh, I'm gonna have to put you on Randy. That's something my mom and them used to listen to back in the day. I don't know. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And then I switched it up and was like, you know what? Let me listen to a little Bobby Bland. Bobby oh. Blue Bland. Yes, girl. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, Sharice, yes. what you hey. hey, you got your cat eyes. Can you see? I can see. Okay. <laughs> So what's your take on the music being working with a lot of youth that you see go kind of get caught in the, you know? So I feel like music nowadays is trendy. It doesn't mm -hmm. have that staying power that it used to have. It doesn't. You know what I'm saying? So everything that, that is on the radio that is listened to is trendy. And it's trendy and it's a one hit a quitter and you know, it is really overtaking the minds of the youth. Mm -hmm. So what would like, we listen to in 20 years in terms of classic today? Like we can go well, back and listen to Marvin Gaye and, and right, and, we can. Well, I don't know what has staying power right now, y'all. I feel I like don't know. two chains. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 
way but you know what i honestly think this is probably where i can go back to um referencing her she's the only person that i can think of right now that i would probably listen to her music five seven ten years down the line oh okay. because i really like it so i think you need to really give it a chance i remember when we first had the discussion about her you was like no they say she's supposed to be like the next lauren hill but i heard this one song and i didn't like it not to say y'all gonna like every single yes get the 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 scenery Yes, um, Callie. Yes. Hey, let me tell them really quick. Where are we going? We going to uh, to Doolin's Soul Food Kitchen. That's where we're headed to now. Um, reviews seem to be pretty good. This is our last uh, full day in the city. So we going there and then it's we'll right probably... here, Ray. Oh, is that it? Yeah, it looks like there's a line outside. Ooh, oh, well, we ain't going now. Because <laughs> I ain't ate since uh, yesterday about 4 o'clock. Right. It's been a while, so we need to... So I was able to not wear my spank today. Yeah, she can breathe. <laughs> I got it on, but don't tell nobody. Y'all, so this is Dula. Oh yeah, this is it. And that's definitely a lot. Oh. Well, we need to watch out, Sharice. They backing okay. up. Okay. Y'all, it is Sunday. So after church. Yeah. Let me see. We'll call Let you guys me. back. Yeah. All right, for, listen, if you ain't following Southern City Lights, oh, okay. check us out. <laughs> <laughs> check us out. <laughs> and what's your website? SouthernCityLights.com, y'all. Don't forget to shop my closet, too, because I have added a number of items, but also check out the, continue to check out the other videos that y'all have not seen, okay? Peace. We'll Peace. talk to y'all in a bit. fish y'all it's cornbread dressing with gravy underneath we have rolls lemon pie peach cobbler cranberry sauce this almost this like a thanksgiving dinner y'all mm, what is your problem can i help you underneath the mm -hmm, it's underneath the four Oh, there it is. Uh-huh. Wow. 